Happy birthday, my beloved Capricorn. This is for you. The people born between 22 December and 20 January. Happy birthday. You will soon be celebrating your birthday with her friends, family, loved ones, and your colleagues. Yes, now I'm inviting you, you know, to join me as I'm about to read your traits, your personality, and your characteristics, as well as mentioning your guardian angels and archangels. So that you'll know the name to call upon when making that prayer, meditating and manifesting for those goals that you've set for yourself for 2020. At the end, I'm going to, to pick each card here. I'm going to pick a card from each and every pile in front of me so that we will know, you will know what's in store for you in 2020. Challenges, how to deal with them and what luck, what abundance is coming to you in 2020. So I'm inviting everyone to join me because we do have Capricorns at home, at our workplace and as friends. So let's hear what's their personality, what's their traits, what do they like, what they don't like, so that we're able to live with them and to handle them. Happy birthday again, my beloved Capricorn. This is for the people born between 22 December and 20 January. You fall on the 10th house of the zodiac sign. Your element is Earth. Your ruling planet is Satan. Your zodiac sign is characterized by the mountain goat. Your motto is, I will find a way. That's your motto. And now coming to your characteristics. You are a very ambitious person. Most of the Capricorns are workaholic. They do things. When they do things, they always make sure that they go beyond the boundary. They are very brave people. They like challenges. They will do whatever it takes to meet the potential. They're persistent and most of them are power hungry. They're very disciplined and sensitive as well. They can be serious sometimes and they don't trust easily and they never forget and they forgive less. So make sure never to annoy a Capricorn because they hold grudges for a long time. They can be aggressive sometimes, especially when being provoked. They have a stubborn and a no-nonsense attitude. They are very honest people, but blunt sometimes. They are very polite. Yes, those are Capricorns for you. Other things to know about Capricorns, the diet. What type of food they like? They like food which is high in protein and calcium. They like raw salads, vegetables and vegetables, fish and eggs. The spirit colors is black, dark brown and charcoal gray. The lucky days are Tuesday and Saturday. The lucky numbers are 4 and 8. And any number which when added together can give you a 4 and an eight or an 8. Like for instance 22. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. The lucky gemstone and crystal stones are blue sapphire, black onyx, lapis lazuli. So if you are a Capricorn, make sure to have one. Make sure that you have one of those, those stones. Or even you can even add garnet and even talismanic stone, especially when praying, meditating, and manifesting. Your flower is African violet. And the greatest overall compatibility of Capricorns are Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now coming to your Archangels. The name of your Archangel is Azrael, Archangel Azrael. When praying, meditating, or manifesting, make sure to mention his name. And your guardian angel is Hamil, which simply means give me Lord in Hebrew. He builds peace between people, Whenever you feel like you are in a conflict or something, make sure to call upon his name, summon him. He will come and restore order. Hamil has a great healing power. He rules over morals and ethics. Praying to him will entrust you with a weapon against any dark energies and any conflict. So like any other zodiac sign, Capricorns also have different um, 
guardian angels based on the date of birth. For instance, Capricorn is born between December 22 and 26. The guardian angel is Mebahia. He exercises morality and religion. So if you are born between 22 and 26, make sure that when you pray, you must also call upon Mebahia. Don't forget your archangel. You must also call upon his name. And don't forget the overall guardian angel for all the Capricorns. Guardian angel Hamid. Capricorns born between 27 and 31 December. Your guardian angel is Poel. He's a, he's a guardian angel of fortune and philosophy. Capricorns born between January 1 to 5. Your guardian angel is Namamia. He's, pro he's protective over those who can't de defend themselves, like for instance, children and animals. Capricorns born between January 6 to 10, your guardian angel is a lion. A lion. Capricorn born between 11 to 15 January, your guardian angel is Harel. He gives us new ideas and inspiration. Meaning that those who are born between 11 and 15, they're more inspirational and they always have, you know, new ideas, creativity. Capricorns born between January 16 to 20, your guardian angel is Mitzray. So make sure that whenever you pray, call upon your guardian angel. And we do have famous Capricorn people, people like Michelle Obama, Dolly Patton, I love this woman, and Kate Middleton, she is also my favorite. And now, coming to the reading, let's see, my beautiful Capricorn, just one card. Let's see what's in store for you. Let's see what's in store for you. Let me not, let me not pick one card. Let me pick another card, two cards, okay? I have two cards right in front of me. The High Priestess. The High Priestess. Um, yes, you will, you will come across a very intuitive woman during the year of 2020. This woman will be guiding you on the way. Um, if you find yourself in some troubles, or maybe you find that you are stuck somewhere, you don't know what to do, you don't know which decision to take, to, to, to take. you don't know which path to choose, always make sure to go out and find someone. There will be someone, a woman, who will come to your rescue, who will come to give you advices. It can be someone at work, someone you're, go, you're, you're, you're working with. It can be, yes, anyone someone that you know or someone that you don't even know it can even be a relative but this is a person of a very high intuitive a very intuitive person this person will not tell you what to do instead this person will guide you on how to do things on how to listen to your intuition on how to make those decisions so like i've said call upon your archangels when you feel like you're stuck even when you go to ask for any ideas, any advices from other people, also invite your, 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 your guardian angels to also be there, also guide you so that you are able to make good decisions. Okay, I also have uh, the hermit, the hermit right in front of me. I'm telling you that you'll be guided through to, in 2020. You will be very, very guided. And you, you, I see that you, 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 most of the time you'll have, you'll give yourself some time to reflect, some time to think. This is what you'll be doing because you'll be surrounded, you will be surrounded by, you know, um, by very intuitive people, by the people who know best, by good people, and the people who have good interest you know, at heart. So make sure that you plan carefully and you do what is best for you. I said I'll take one card, but here I am taking two. Okay, I have the two of pentacles. The pentacles, with the pentacles here, 
I see money coming to you in 2020. I see abundance coming to you. I see a good living, a good health. Yes, you'll be concerned a lot about your health, and this is good. This is very, very good. And with number two, you'll, you'll make sure that everything is balanced. I want you to know that if you, you form partnerships, like those of you who, who, are, who are working for themselves, if like you, you learn to form partnerships, and then you're going to be successful, especially those of you who are in businesses. And for some of, for those of you who are like maybe employed, in 2020, you'll be working, you know, as a team. So make sure that, that you participate because, you know, with team building, with teamwork, you learn a lot. You, 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 you get more, more knowledgeable, you learn a lot, you get more skills. That's what will be happening to you. And the angel is sending you a message that you are at the right path. You are doing very well. Yes, and with you being ambitious, workaholic, you're going to be a success. You're going to, 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 to achieve what you've set yourself to achieve. And then let's check what other card we have here. This is from our, um, our ancestors. Let's hear what our ancestors are saying to us, are saying to you, my, my beloved Capricorn. Um, is of secret circle here it's also about money about abundance and it's about the beginning I see you most of you you'll be beginning you know you are creative and you have new ideas in 2020 so you are about to, to, to begin something, something in your life. Of course, some of you, you are still at school, so you continue with your education. Some of you, you are going to new schools, you know, starting new things. And those of you who are employed, you'll be starting on new projects, new jobs, new activities, you know. And this is very good for you. This is very good for you because you are very much determined um, you really want to achieve these goals and with this woman on your side and you, and with yourself giving yourself some time to think, some time to reflect, some time to, you know, to be creative, you're going to make it a success. And then I have the Ace of Swords. Swords is about nobility. It falls under the element of air. And remember, you Capricorn, you are, you are an earth element. Um, this is where you'll be, you know, you know, you'll be using your mind a lot, you know, your thoughts, your beliefs, communication. You are very much, good. your mind is very powerful. Your mind will be very, very powerful in, in 2020. You want to see yourself floating, you know going beyond cutting you know yeah this is what you'll be doing you are very much determined to achieve what you want to achieve in 2020 and again this is about a new beginning a new beginning for those of you who are like maybe involved in it can be activities it can be projects any work or maybe even relationships which were not successful which were not good for you it's time. It's time to do the cutting. You need to cut what was not working for you. Whatever was not working for you, you need to cut and leave it behind. Take along with you all the things, you know, which were a success. But don't forget that whatever fail, um, failures you, you came across with, you must also learn from it. Don't just say, no, I'm leaving this. Okay, you can leave it, but make sure that you, you, you check, you assess the situation. You assess and check what really led to that failure. Where did I go wrong? What, have, what, 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 what must I do? What should, have, what should I have done? Those are the kind of things that you need to check. Okay? 
let's see let's hear let's hear let's hear what our guides are saying the guides are saying one card two card okay the white witch she's a good one don't worry she says be the light be the light surround yourself with you know good people be intuitive you know think and listen to your listen to your heart listen to your soul listen to your soul remember i told you that um your guardian angel your guardian angel hamil is it hamil yes i think it's hamil you know he's the angel who protects who takes care of those who can't defend themselves even animals so as a capricorn you are connected to nature and i want you to know that um when you pray more if you give yourself some time to pray more give yourself some time to reflect give yourself some time to think and connect your soul and your heart you will you you you, you will achieve what you want to achieve 2020 will be a good year for you and here I have the, the second card. It says, set your sights higher. Don't limit yourself. You are workaholic. You are power hungry. You are very ambitious. You are sophisticated. You are flexible. So make sure that you achieve. You, achieve. you, have, the, you have the world right in front of you. You will achieve what you want to achieve in 2020. So make sure that you will work as hard as you can. Now I'm going to take the bottom card from each of the pile. Ace of Swords. So for most of you guys in 2020, most of you will be starting new things. Ace of Swords. You'll also be cutting. Ace of Swords. <laughs> um, you will be presented with lots of advantages, lots of opportunities, and you're going to achieve. And victory is yours. Victory is yours. Okay? One cut at the bottom. Ten of wands. Ten is about completion. It means that you are going to complete whatever you're going to start in January 2020. By December 2020, it will be complete. Those objectives those goals you are going to complete them king of stays king of stays hmm. as i've said you're connected to nature you are the king you are brave you are fire you can make rules and you can make people to to obey you you know how to lead. You are a good communicator. You are a very ambitious person. And you really know what you want. And you always go after what you want. You always go beyond. That's what I like about you. Most of you, you are leaders. Most of you, you are leaders. And on the bottom one. Okay, two came out the stake trust and thrive it says it tells you that you must always trust trust yourself and you must also put trust on other people they say that you don't trust easily yes it's a, it's okay not to trust easily but sometimes you need to trust and you must also trust yourself and i also have the fire guardian it's saying that you must ignite your passion must ignite that ambition so with all this my beloved capricorn i'm i'm saying happy birthday again enjoy your cake enjoy your birthday and let 2020 be a beautiful year for you i wish you the best in 2020 thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe and like my page thanks